Right, I encountered a an issue yesterday. Uh, literally, this battery is dead. Uh, so I've got a spare one in my garage. So instead of actually putting the new battery on this, I just jump started the battery to battery. Got the car running, had a nice run out, came back home again, and then obviously turn the car off. Needed to go back out. Uh, obviously he went to turn the ignition, got a few turns, but not quite enough charge went back into this battery. So I went to jump start it again, and I put the fucking leads on the wrong way round, didn't I, by accident. And I blew the main 100 amp fuse in the fuse box. So today's video is replacing that. I've already just unclipped this. So in here, it is currently that fuse there that I've bridged across it with a large piece of uh, wire. Just to make sure that I hadn't damaged anything else, which fortunately I hadn't. Um, but with this being the main amp fuse for your car, for your ignition side, it's not just a case of like these little fuses where you pull them out. You've literally got to take your fuse box out because they're actually bolted into the side. There's two metal tabs on the uh, on the main fuse um, that, are, that are bolted together. So you, you need to get those little bolts to take the fuse out. So it's not just a simple task of taking the fuse out and replacing it. You've got to take your fuse back, your, your, the main fuse box out and, and replace it that way. So this is a, a little bit of a, a video on how to go about doing that. Uh, it's not the sort of video I wanted to be doing, but uh, I need to do it anyway. So I've got the fuse on order. It's not here yet, but this will at least show you how to gain access to it and how to change it once you do get it so first things first i've took the cover off there's a bolt here a, a nut sorry that you need to take off there's another nut just here which i've already taken off that just makes the, the fuse box itself loose um and then there's this cable here which is a nice big earthing cable so it's quite thick and sturdy which is attached to this other this part of the loom here so we want to try and get that out of the way so it's got a little bit more flexibility to it so it's that plug that plug and that plug which you need to just unclip and then there's two little tabs just there I don't know if you can quite see that there's one there there's one on the other side so you just undo those two and all this unit pulls out in one go so I'm gonna crack on and go ahead and do that but before I do that it's gonna take my air box off um, the air filter sorry not the box the box is already gone uh, just so I can get a little bit more space at the end here when I come to try and bend it out of the way slightly so I'll do that now and then we shall hopefully have a bit more space I'll do this one handed again it's brilliant I've got my tripod there so I'll stick it on that in just a sec I just needed to crack that loose and then we can get get the air filter out of the way um, so that's give us a nice big area to work with now so you want to unclip that that one just unclips squeeze that in again there. pull that one out of the way and then there's a thumb tab down there on that one so you need to squeeze that one together and pull that that cable out and then these two little tabs just pull them away and pull the whole unit up in one go and that, that entire loom comes away from your fuse box just move it up there out of the way and there you've, you've got access to your fuse box all right so the next thing you now want to do now you've got that that loom out of the way is just lift it up from underneath so that pops off at the top of that screw pull this one away from the screw under there you don't get a lot of movement but what you do get is access to these little clips which hold the base of your fuse box on so you want to just work your way around the car around the bay just pop them up just so that you can get a little bit of wiggle room and once you get it lifted you can just start one by one just prying away this lower cover another one hidden in there so you see how it just starts to come away just do it one at a time some around this side as well do the same again so there you have it Just you just need to get it that bit 
so as you can see if I can just unclip this off the mount in there there's a bolt with a red tab on it that red tab is just to show you that it's not unscrewed tab to tab and then the other one I just have to use a mirror for this the other one is that other bolt head there with a red tab on it too so you need to undo both of those and then what will happen is these two I'll just take this out now because it's in the way these two metal tabs here will come out individually normally they're together with with these bits of wire there your actual fuse wire there what what snapped there's a little blue plug in here which I'll uh, I'll show you later on in the video when we come to put it back in but yeah you need to undo the, both of those tabs and then take these two individual tabs out so I'm going to crack on and do that right so I'm going to just undo this bolt in here uh, it's an 8 milli no uh, bolt sorry the head of the bolt is 8 millimeters so, just quite tight actually, so... The screw it gives you the attachment for the, the wrench to go in there as well. There we go, crack that. And just go about unscrewing that, careful not to drop it. And then you should be able to just pull out that tab. So the plug itself, when you when you get the plug, I'll show you it later before I reinstall it. But it's basically it's a block looks similar to one of these, but it's got two of these legs that stick down one either side. Um, just with it being the hundred amp main fuse, that's why it's all bolted together, not just a, a push-in fit. So that's one side out. So I'm just going to put this this bolt back in, just so I don't lose it. As I said in the other videos, if you put things back, you don't lose them. So then I'm just going to do the same, but on the other side. This side's a little bit more tricky to get at because it's the, the wrong way around, basically. But I think this is actually a different sized bolt too. I think it's a little bit bigger on this side for some reason. Yeah, I think that's more like a 10 milli. So I'll just swap that out for 10. that one out and then same again that tab just pulls it out put the bolt back in again so I don't lose it there we go so when my new plug arrives it's just the exact same thing take them bolts out push the plug in Put the bolts back in click everything back together but for the time being i'm going to leave it as it is like this until my plug turns up uh, which i bought off amazon but it wasn't a prime one so i've absolutely no idea whether it's going to turn up in the next day or two or the next week so i'm sure we'll uh, so we'll find out as you can see in the video i haven't disconnected my battery in any of this but that is solely because for the purposes of doing this this battery is absolutely dead there's probably only about a volt left in it um, no amps nothing it won't even put the standard lights up, up on the dashboard or anything so I'm eventually going to replace this battery I just need to go and buy one but that's to do it's on the to-do list so eventually we'll get round to it so Right, it's been uh, four days since my last video, so just to let you know that I was waiting on the resistor, not that it makes much difference in a video, because it just runs into the next clip. Well, this is basically what your 100 um, amp resistor looks like. 
dead basic resistor fuse is what I meant to say um, so obviously that slots into that slot so from above it looks like you should just be able to pull it out but obviously you've got them tabs on there which are bolted into the car so what I'm going to do bolt them back up uh, and then crack on so I'll just clip this up and then I'll carry on and I'll show you how to put it all back together again So what you need to do, peel that back again as it is. There's an 8mm on this side, 10mm on that side. So I'll start with 10mm because it's the most awkward one. Ten. There's your bolt. That little red tab is just the, the paint across there and onto the the adjacent structure, so you can see that if it's cracked loose, if you've got a mismatch of paint, then you know your bolt's loose. That's all that is. It's just a witness to show you that it's tight and still tight. Uh, I'll now go ahead and. Swap over to my eight mil. Put that where you know where it is, as everybody knows, 10 mil is always going to disappear in, so unscrew that out of there. Keep that in, in. if you keep it in, it makes it easier when you pick it up when you're trying to do things with one hand. Uh, so then that literally, let me unclip this off my mount, so that literally now just pushes into that space. Again, doing it one-handed, it's not the easiest. I think they just need to come apart, them legs are just a touch. So, it just pops in like that. So, like I was saying, it looks like you should just be able to pull it out, but you can't. You've got to unbolt it, unfortunately. So there we go. Just clip you back up there. Like that. And then, go in with the 8mm. Tighten that up. Let's give it a good nip. As long as it's tight, it'll be alright. There's not much vibration goes on in this box, so it shouldn't come loose. There will be a specific torque setting for it, but I don't know what it is, and to be honest, I can't really be bothered going to have a look. As long as it's tight and you can't get any ingress of water, once you put it all back together again, you should be fine. Same goes with this side. Give it a good tighten, and there you go. It's as simple as that to put your fuse back in. And then you're just going to clip all the box back together, which is a, a tricky part. You've got to get everything realigned again. Make sure that goes under there. That one's clipped. That one's clipped. That's clicked. That's clicked. Same down here. Clicked. And come on, just need you. That's it, all clipped back together. And then you've literally got that loom to put back in again. It's easier if you reattach that back onto there, back onto there. So with this one, you've got your big plug goes down here. I'll clip you and then you can see properly. So your main clip on your harness, that slots, if I can do it again, one-handed, nothing's easier with one hand, especially when you're not left-handed. My little lad's shouting at me through the window, so he obviously wants me attention. I'm going to have to do this with uh, one hand, bear with me. See, when you use two hands it just slots in like that, dead easy. Right, so that's that, your main harness, click back in. This plug folds over, goes in like that. Yeah, satisfying click. This one here goes in there like that, click. And that one goes next to your 100 amp fuse, 
and click and as simple as that so now all you need to do put your nuts back on there the other nut back on there that one's a little bit stealthy down there it's not not too hard to get at but and then just run them up again they only need to be nipped you want to screw them down onto plastic here so you don't want to put too much force on and uh, and damage things this one you could do with a little universal joint on your socket make it a bit easier but it can be done without nearly there again doing it left handed I'm not left handed there we go, that's tight enough. And then, the fuse box cover, wherever I put it. Here, so it goes on there like that. Hooks on, so we've got two little rings on the back of this. They hook over the back. So you can now pull your cover towards you, it shouldn't come off. And as you're pulling it towards you, head into place, just push it down. And it should just click into place like so. Dead easy. And now all I've got to do now is put my air filter, filter back on, my cone, and uh, job done. Next job, change this shitty battery because it's knackered. Um, but I can do that another time. I've got a spare battery in the garage, so I'll do that when I get round to it. And there you go. As easy as that to change your 10 amp fuse. Thanks for watching.